Hi everyone, it's me again. I'm sorry for the glare from my glasses, but I put my glasses on because I've got hay fever. I don't know if you can hear me. And my eyes itch, so I haven't put any eye makeup on. So I'm sorry if I look a bit eh, but get over it. That's how I'm looking. Yes, I've had my hair done. Um, It's supposed to be platinum blonde um and then i had purple in the bottom but with washing it and everything it's gone blue but hey we'll deal with it i still like it i got to go and get another hair appointment ready to have it dyed again anyway came on here to say that i've went to england all this i'm i'm going away i'm going away i'm going away finally I went away. I went back to Southampton. Um, um, I took my mother, father-in-law, and my sister-in-law, um, and it was mad. Um, they don't speak a word of English, uh, so I had to translate, translate everything. And by the end of the week, I was going crazy. I was talking to English people in Spanish and Spanish people in English. <sighs> But I'm glad I've done it. It's done. It's dusted. It's out of the way. So all I wanted to do was come on here and say that um, I did a bit of a vlog, vlog sort of. I took some video of me walking around places. I just wanted to come on here and tell you what places I went to before I put all the vlog together. Um, so you know a little bit of what is what and um, that lot and then after you've seen the little bit of vlog I put in because I'm not a vlogger I hate being out in public and having my camera on because yeah so I just took some videos of what I was seeing um, and then after that I'm going to show you what I bought while I was away um, as you'll know, you can only have 10 kilos hand luggage when you travel in Europe, um, free, unless you want to put a case underneath. And that is quite expensive to put a case underneath, so I just went back with my 10 kilos hand luggage, which I did have two and a half kilos room to shop. <laughs> Shall I say, I haven't got too much. Okay, so it's not too much. So, yeah, I'll just let you know a bit about what I actually got up to. So, the Tuesday I arrived in to London and then we trained down. So, you'll get a little snippet of the train um, while we was on the train. Um, down to Southampton. I'm from Southampton. My family wanted to go back and see where I grew up. So, they didn't want to see London and they didn't want to see anything like that so it was Southampton based um the first day we got there it was just getting to know the place letting them have a look around town centre and shopping and things like that and then the next day Wednesday we went to the Tudor House exhibit I've got some leaflets here just to show you um and they really enjoyed that. This is all in Spanish. Um, as you can see, it's got a little map and everything. Um, a few pictures down the side. Um, but yeah, that was good. We enjoyed that. My family enjoyed that. There's a little bit of footage from that. Um, so yes. And then after that, we went to the Sea City Museum. Um, that's all about, well... There's several different um, exhibits in this one, but we only went to see the Titanic story. As you all know, Titanic f um, sailed from Southampton, so that's a big part of um, big part of what you can see in Southampton. Also, we went and saw an old church that was there that got bombed during the world war Two. there's little tiny footage of that i think um 
and then after that I went out with my family for a few drinks um then Thursday I'm getting my days mixed up then Thursday we went to Gunworth in Portsmouth which is an outlet shopping centre right down on the front um there's a little tiny bit of footage from that where we were down on the front watching the boats come in and out um and that's where I did quite a bit of shopping and then I went out with with my friend for some cocktails afterwards my best friend as we don't get to see each other as much as we would like um so yes and then Friday we went to Silent Sky um airplane museum um that was amazing you got to go in a few of the airplanes um like this one we went through um and you could sit in the seats and things like that and I sat in a Spitfire um that was hard to get into I must admit there's another booklet um as I had flip-flops on because it was lovely weather in England I've never been to took my family back to the UK and it's been such nice weather that I got sunburnt with um but yeah um I hit my foot out as I was trying to get into the Spitfire um I don't know if I got any footage of me inside the Spitfire but I would do, if I can I would put a little bit of a photo in it's a stupid photo of me but I'm like that so you will <laughs> get I don't know if I will do like um a montage of photos as well as you'll get to see a bit more of what the things we got up to as well into this uh, video so yes I'm going to stop talking now because I've been talking seven minutes I am so sorry and let's get into the vlog um so yeah this is my time in England
She conformed to the Board of Trade requirements. In fact, she was largely in excess of the Board of Trade requirements. You were one of those as the managing director responsible for determining the number of boats. Yes. In conjunction with the ship. When you enjoyed that little snippet if I didn't do a snippet and this is a completely different video I'm sorry so hi how are you all um welcome back to my channel what I'm going to do now is show you what I brought in England why I was away on holiday um I call it a holiday because it means I'm getting out and about um, out of my village, out on a plane, so it's a holiday even though I'm going back to where I lived. Anyway, I'm stopped rambling, I'm sorry, I talk quite a bit. So the first thing I got while I was over there is this Bell um, little bag. As the first day I got there my feet was rubbing, I had little dolly shoes on and I don't know if some of you all know about dolly shoes but they tend to rub. Um, so yes, um, so I went in and bought some new flip flops, which I haven't got in this video as they are dirty. <coughs> Excuse me, um, hey FIFA, I'm sorry. Um, so yes, and I saw this and I bought this to put all my shopping in. Um, then the next two things my best friend gave me as a gift. Where I was over there, it's the Beauty and the Beast and Mrs. Potts and Chip, little, what do, what are they called? Disney Uffies or something like that? Um, fluffy things, um, they are so cute. Um, so yes, I'm so thankful for that. They're so cute and she didn't have to give me anything at all, but she did. Um, so I'm so thankful for that. Um, then I got, <coughs> excuse me, I have to go and get a drink or I'm going to be coughing the whole time, so two seconds and I'll be, right, I'm sorry about that, I hope this hasn't changed too much of the angle for you, um, I just know that if I didn't go and have a glass of water, I would carry on coughing, um, yeah, and then I got some hair bows to just put in my hair um just to do something different with them um they're from Primark as well they cost me three pounds for both of them so that's not too bad where's my bag gone <laughs> then I got some I'm not doing this in any order well I try to if I can find everything that I got from the same, same shop then I've got some hand sanitizer. I'm big on hand sanitizers. As I say in several films, uh, videos that I do baking and I don't think washing your hands is enough. Um, that's just my personal reference. Yes, I soap them, scrub them and everything. So I do put a bit of hand sanitizer on as well, just so I know I'm killing all the bacteria 
that I have on my hand. Um, so yes, I got these two. I got lemon twist and sweet berries. They smell amazing. Um, and they were one pound each, so you can't go wrong with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I think this is the last thing from Primark. I got the Harry Potter. Oh, stuck. Harry Potter pins and the um, Peter Pan pins um, that they're bringing out. There, I thought they were quite cute. Um, what I'm doing is if I go to Disneyland Paris next year, um, I'm going to get a rucksack and put Disney pins all over him rather than getting a Mickey Mouse rucksack or something. And then at least I can use the rucksack for some of the girls. And these were £3 each and I thought they were really cute. So I've got Harry Potter, even though Harry Potter's not Disney, and I got the Peter Pan one. And I thought these were really cute. So, yeah. So, I think that's... I got everything from Primark. And then I went into Lush. Um, you all know Lush. It smells amazing. It is amazing. I got bath bomb. I got the submarine bath bomb. I'm not going to take it out of this because it does sound a bit bashed from travelling and I don't want um, bath bomb dust all over the place because I've just cleaned so yeah um, if you just look up on Google put in submarine bath bomb from Lush to see what it looks like but most of you have probably seen it by now so yeah I've got one of those um, I could have bought loads in Lush and of course I can't get it back because you can only have so much um liquid um <clears throat> then i went to uh as i said we went to portsmouth gumworth which is an outlet shop i went to, into kath kids kidston i can't say it properly and i got myself a new apron for baking with i'm going to run this through the wash and get this all cleaned up i just thought it was really cute um i needed a new apron so it's nice and black so it won't get stained that much because i am a messy baker um and it was 20 quid down to 13. i know it's not big saving but it was still a saving and i thought that was really cute um then why I was uh, why I was down there, I went into Ted Baker. I wanted a Michael Kors bag. I want that. That's on my wish list for my birthday. I'm not gonna get a Michael Kors bag, but their bags were so good, like three hundred pound down to hundred and thirteen pound. If I had room and more money with me, I probably would have got a Michael Kors bag. But I didn't. I went for a Ted Baker's little plastic bag. Um, I love this one. I love the bow. Um, I've always wanted a Ted Baker's bag. Um, I couldn't get a proper like leather handbag. Well, not a leather handbag, but you know, leather handbag. Um, as they were nearly a hundred pound each. But I did like this one. Um, this one was originally. £30 I think and I got it for 20 so yeah it's not huge savings there but it's something I'm sorry if you can hear me I this hay fever is horrible um yeah it was £30 and then I got it for 20 and it's just a pink one with a bow um and yeah I love it it's, it was so easy to put in my case because I could fold it down and everything so yes I have to have a handbag everywhere I go um then there as well they had a Cadbury's shop um there that sells all Cadbury's chocolate so I got um Cadbury's yeah it's Cadbury's yeah I'll go crazy Cadbury stuff but I brought dairy milk in there I brought the dairy milk peanut butter Oreo flavor 
and then I got a mint Oreo from there and a peanut caramel crisp one as well um the whole week I never had chocolate and I never ate that chocolate I brought it back with me so I can have chocolate at home um by the till they had um charity donation tubs um and on my bucket list it is that I want to give money to charity um different charities out and about um so I did give some money to the Make-A-Wish charity um over in England when you give money to a charity sometimes you get a pin so I got a Make-A-Wish pin which I will put on to my Disney bag um as wishes come true in Disney and I thought that was really cute um so yeah that's a little bit that's on my bucket list um then i uh we went to um oh uh, um the airplane museum and they had some more pins in there so i did get a couple of more pins i got a spin uh spitfire and a lanchester one as well um so yes so they will probably go on to my pin bag as well um then i was in boots and we needed it needed another see-through bag with some liquids in it because i just took one back but we bought some more liquid stuff while we was over there and they had a tedder baker one a see-through one with some little travel side items in i thought it was really cute that i could put into my tent baking bag and um, carry some of my stuff around in usually i have uh, like one with plasters and things like that in it um i'm so sorry this is going to be a long video um and it has a little lip balm with the ted baker little Top on it, a oh, sugar, a Ted Baker, a little body mist, and a Ted Baker hand cream. So, yes, I got that as well. Um, then, sorry if you had that bashing, I got you stood on a table. And then, last of all, my best friend, bless her, she took us to a vintage shop um, where it's all second hand furniture and vintage clothing and things like that and while i was there you know i all love you know i love my sunglasses i have so many pairs but i got a new pair like this um i'm in love with them i wore them all the time while i was over there um so yeah i got them in this color they have had two other colours, red and black, but I just got this colour so it can match everything. It's got the cat eye um, points on them, I think that's what you call them. And I thought they were really nice for £6. You can't go wrong with a pair of sunglasses at £6. So, yes, I got another pair of sunglasses. Then my husband, because um, we are both very into old stuff he got a telescope what you call it um from um a company a railway company i don't know he just loved what it looked like um it's not a big one um he just loved the old vintage look it's just to go on our side it does work and um, you take a little cap off at the end uh and you can look through it um but yeah he he liked that. It has a little symbol on. It's old fashioned. Um, so he got that. Um, and then I saw an old Kodak camera. Um, it doesn't work, I don't think. Because um, on the stuff that does work, they do have... This item does work. It has been checked. But this didn't i don't want it as a camera i want it as a um, decorative piece in my living room that we're in now um so we got 
that as well and that was five pound just to have as decoration um that was the most expensive thing that was 20 quid um it was amazing that i would go there again um so yeah uh and i thought that was really pretty i loved some of the um furniture in there and everything um but as i said before we only had 10 kilos hand luggage and i can't get furniture back oh actually saying that i think yep there is a cupcake pin that i got in there as well to go in my pin collection stuff to go on my hat um rucksack as i said before cupcake because i'm a baker so it was a no-brainer um and that is it it's just leftover tickets in there for prices that we paid and everything i'm getting so hot this is a long video i'm sorry but i hope you enjoyed it um if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe and turn on the notification bells and then you know when i will upload a video yes i look a state but i'm now going to go and hang my washing out and go shopping um not actual shopping food shopping and and uh go and see my mum as she broke her leg in Amsterdam. yes she fell down some stairs she wasn't drunk she wasn't on anything it was raining she slipped downstairs and broke her ankle so yes i'm gonna go and help her do a few bits around her house so i'm going to leave this video here sorry for the rambling like like i said again please subscribe give it a thumbs up and i'll see you next time bye